Come on downstairs, guys. Today we're previewing Southern Utah at 19th ranked Auburn. It is game six of year one of our Southern Utah Thunderbirds dynasty. The Auburn Tigers, a B overall, B minus offensively, a B plus defensively. They're averaging 28 points a game, 377 yards of total offense. Number 46, number 25 in rushing offense, 85 in passing offense, number 40 in total defense, number 25 in rush defense, number 69 in pass offense, and number 22 in turnover differential. We're D's across the board averaging 10.2 points per game, 231.2 yards of total offense is dead last in the country. Rushing offense is second to last at 90.8, passing offense number 114 at 140.4 yards. Auburn, obviously, is uh, from the SEC. Eight conference championships. The last time was in 2010 when they went on to win the national title with Cam Newton. They have won their last game. They're 4-1 overall. We've lost five games in a row to start our FBS history. And we do not have a conference. And uh, Boise is not our rival. We uh, have yet to determine who our rival is. That will probably develop over time. Auburn beat Washington State 31 to 24 in overtime, beat Arky State 28 to nothing, beat Mississippi State. Their only loss is at number 15 LSU 20 to 16 and last week they beat Old Miss who was ranked number 25 30 to 13. For us, a loss at New Mexico State, a loss at home against North Texas, a loss to San Jose. And then a near loss at Troy before being drubbed at home against New Mexico last week. And it does not get any easier as we're at Auburn, ranked number 19. And then next week we're at Houston, who's ranked number four. Offensive leaders for the Auburn Tigers, Sean White, their leading passer, 795 yards, seven touchdowns, two picks. Carry on Johnson, nine carries, 474 yards, averaging just under 100 yards per game. Last week he went for 159 on 24 carries against Ole Miss. Uh, Davis, 15 catches, 181 yards. Offensively, our leaders, Aaron Cantu, 73 of 143, 556 yards, four touchdowns, nine picks. Rayshon Martin, 77 carries, 314 yards, 62.8 yard average. Fa'atu Maola, 19 catches, 34.8 yards per game, 174 yards overall. Coming off a decent game where he had seven catches for 68 yards. So Sean White, another look at his statistics for 2013. 59 of 124, seven touchdowns on the year to only two interceptions, 159 yards per game. His completion percentage, though, is 47.6%. That's not the best in the world. And he is a six foot, 200 pound redshirt sophomore for the Auburn Tigers. He's averaging throwing about 25 passes a game. And Carry on Johnson, their leading rusher. 90 carries, 474 yards, averaging 5.3 yards per carry and 94.8 yards per game. He has five touchdowns on the year. Has not run uh, longer than 16 yards this year. No carries over 20 yards. And has not coughed up the football yet. Daryl Williams, their left outside linebacker, is their leading defender. A sophomore Four and a half sacks, two pass breakups, and has forced one fumble on the year. And also recovered one. So Daryl Williams, number 49, one, uh, number to watch out for on the defensive side. Toughest places to play, Jordan Hare Stadium is ranked number five. So we're obviously going into a hostile environment. They've won five in a row there. Averaging 87,451 fans. That's a little different from our just over 9,000 that we average in Cedar City. The Heisman watch, Dalvin Cook, Baker Mayfield uh, from Oklahoma. Curtis Samuel, Ohio State wide receiver. He's hurt, though. Lamar Jackson, of course, the quarterback at Louisville. And from Michigan, uh, Devion Smith, the senior running back. Quick look at the standings here. We are independent. It's obviously not really a conference, but surprisingly, Army is four and one. Notre Dame is two and four. BYU is one and five. We're the only independent team that has not won a game yet this year. The SEC, 
Leading the East, the Missouri Tigers and Vanderbilt are at the top. The East is usually a little bit weaker than the West lately. And the SEC West, LSU is 4-1, and one, Auburn is 4-1, and one, both are 2-1 and one in the SEC. A lot of teams with one win and it's very rare to see Alabama down there at number 7 at 0-2 in the SEC. All right, guys, let's hit the recruiting trail for a little bit more uh, recruiting. We've offered the following players. Paul Phillips, a punter. Yes, we are offering a scholarship to a punter. I guess when you punt the football as much as we have to, we might as well find one that's a little bit of a weapon. Overall, he's an 82 from Santa Cruz Valley Union High School in Eloy, Arizona. And uh, pretty tough to get highlights of a punter. But kick power 87, kick accuracy 79. So we are going to use a scholarship on a punter, uh, especially one who's got an overall rating of 82. And we are his first offer. Nobody has offered the punter just yet. Ryan Dorch, a 6'7", 257-pound defensive end from Kaysville, Utah. We're finally breaking into the state of Utah after we've gone through some of the more uh, players that are more interested in our school. He plays football at the Davis Darts in Kaysville. You see him get to the quarterback here. Quick look at his ratings. He's a 67 overall, speed 64, acceleration 73, power move 74, hit power 74. I really like his tackling at 80. We need better tacklers on the football team. We are missing a ton of tackles this year, and we are Dorch's first offer. Also, from the state of Utah and Heber City, Utah, Todd Glover, a three-star receiver, 6'2", 196. Overall, he's a 74. From the Wasatch Wasps up in the mountains of Heber City, up above Provo. As we get a look at him against West Valley City. And the Wasatch Wasps. Todd Glover, speed 84, acceleration 88. Uh, he increased seven points overall as we recruited him. He's a 74. Spark rating is a 67. Jumping 83. Catching 75. Carrying 90. Could be a good, possibly a good kick returner. And he has offers from Southern Utah and Utah State. All right, that's our episode for our Auburn preview. Up next, we'll have the full game from Auburn, Alabama on the Prairie. Or the Plains. I think they call it the Plains, not the Prairie. Down on the Plains in Auburn, Alabama. Year one, game six of our Southern Utah Thunderbirds dynasty.